Hey y'all. If y'all didn't already see, I just dropped my YouTube video. 51 minutes long. So y'all should go watch it. Cause it's tea and receipts. So, ew, this little greasy ass piece of hair has been really blowing me. I need to wash my hair. But it is growing though. She's growing. Y'all, this hair was up to here last time I was like when I cut it. So it's grown like two inches, which kind of took a long time because it grew two inches in five months. My hair normally grows faster than that. Maybe it's just my leave out part, I don't know. Okay, this low key, I need to wash it, but I really am not going to wear important, so maybe I don't, I guess. It's time to go blonde again. I know, you know what? I've been fighting, fighting so intensely to just bleach my Bob Platinum. But I'm not going to do that because I learned 800 different times the same lesson. And for some reason, I still have these like cravings to go blonde. But I've learned. And every time I learn my little lesson, I go against it. And I'm like, whatever, I don't care. And then I care. And I'm like, why did I do that? So, I'm staying strong and I'm staying brunette. Which, you know what's crazy? Like, I can't believe that I was blonde for so many years because I used to be like, I will never be natural. I will never have my natural hair color. I hate it. I only want to live blonde. Like, blonde is the lifestyle. Blondes have more fun. Blonde gets you just way more of everything. Now that I think about it, it kind of did. But like, I might, you know, I might. A blonde wig, I know everybody's like, just get a blonde wig, but like blonde wigs just don't hit the same as your real hair, you know? Baby hairs be all crunchy, wig be all itchy, lace be all annoying. It's just like... It just doesn't hit the same. You can't put a wig up in like a slick ass blonde bun. Like you will just never know what it feels like to have freshly, freshly bleach roots. You're a different kind of girl. Am I still in pain? Yes, I'm still in pain in this moment. I'm always in pain. I'm in constant chronic pain. But anyways, um... You got, you get them freshly bleached roots. You ain't even ever felt your scalp feel that way. Like it just feels like just the best. It's the best feeling in the world. One of them. Freshly, ble freshly bleached roots when your platinum is like crack. And that's why people really be addicted to it. Put that toner on. Hair be a little bit bluish purple. Oh, it's funny. I used to love when my hair was so white that it was a little tint of blue underneath. I used to feel like a Targaryen. That's what I was getting, Targaryen. But I'm over those days. Because I want healthy hair. I want my long, natural, healthy hair like... My hair was just so healthy before I had bleached it so long. Literally to the point where people were like, that's your real hair? <laughs> yes, it was my real hair. And I ruined it. Because why? Because I wanted to have a balayage of blonde. Ugh, terrible idea. I 
Oh my god, this feels so good. Oh, that just smells so good. <sighs> and lo add lots of oils and as for bleach to stop breakage. Honestly, my hair is too fine, like for blonde like i really can't it's just not possible for me to have um healthy blonde hair because my hair like my actual strand of my hair is too fine like i don't have super thick strands like my hair I'll ha i have a lot of hair but it's like just not a thick ass strand if you get what i mean like my hair will be big as fuck and like nice and long but it won't be like, like, you know how when you have like Brazilian hair and you could feel like, even like this weave, like I could just feel the strand is like hella thick, like, you know? Oh, somebody said I'm bummed I didn't get a golden ticket this time. It's all right. Winter, your video about me crying. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to make nobody cry. Honestly, I feel like I held it together pretty well for the video. Like compared to how much I really like have broken down. I felt like I, but I also felt like I waited to record it for me to be like kind of in a better place a little bit. Cause now I'm kind of just like used to living with everything. Like, I think before, like, like even a month or two ago, like, I was still getting in the hang of, like, living with pain every day. Now I'm a little bit more used to it, which is messed up. But, yeah, sure. Please let us know how you are 30 and single so we know what not to do. Um, I'm 29 and yes I am single but I'm pretty much single by choice because if you really want to be realistic I can really just have whoever I want to have and um yeah <laughs> honestly like what uh, how to um how to not be single when you're 29 um I'll tell you get into a relationship it's that simple what you think I can't bag nobody? Are you crazy or dumb? Like, let's just be real. Let's 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 be really be real. Maybe the problem is that I have too many options. Did you think of that? <laughs> I'm crying. That's messed up to say. But is it a lie? Like, that's, like, one of my things. Like, oh, my God, when I turn 30, everybody's response is going to be like, you're 30. Okay. Your mom is 30. And she's broke. So. Is there any advice you would like me to ask for her? Just kidding. Your mom's probably not 30. But maybe if she had you at, like, 15. <clears throat> Bro, this little... I need to like do something like this. I need this to like go away. This is why I don't like leave out left out. Do you think you'll be married by 40? I don't know if I want to get married. Like marriage and like marriage has never been a goal of mine. Like I'm not like, oh my god, I have like I'm gonna get married. Oh my god, I see me in my wedding dress. I see my wedding. That's just never been a big thing for me. I never really was into that. I never grew up seeing marriage. I'm just being real. Not a lot of people are married where I'm from. <clears throat> Someone said she ain't never gonna get married. I could have been married already if I wanted to. Like, you guys don't realize. I feel like really the reason why I am single is because I really just don't want to settle. I really don't want to settle. And sometimes when I date people, 
I like have this mindset of like this love could be deeper this could be better I could I can do better than this am I settling in this like and then I lose interest it's another big thing for me I lose interest I can't help it like my worst fear is like marrying somebody and then like not being able to do what I want to do like that's crazy like I gotta be super in love to like agree to marry somebody like obsessed lord advice for being a baddie step one get to that bag and don't let that bag get you period stay true to you i'm a taurus i don't know but like just imagine how people feel when they get married and then they're like i don't even like this motherfucker like that you know damn and then, like, also, like, a lot of people's advice is, like, always make sure a man likes you more than you like him. And I definitely experience that all the time. <sighs> but I just be turned off a little bit. I'm, starting, I'm trying to get out of that, though. I really am. Do you think scamming men for money is bad? I mean, do you, babe? Personally, I don't scam men for money. At all. Because I'd rather just make my own money. And have somebody get out my damn face. I've never... I'm not just scamming men for money. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's just too much work. I don't even want to talk to nobody. I'm not talking to nobody for no damn money. First of all. Like, hopefully they spend it on me, but I'm not about to just be, like, trying to finesse, you know? No, that's just too much work. Shout out to the girls that have the patience, because I swear I don't. Somebody said, ready for your YouTube video. It's up already, babe. Like, is some women out here really in life that are like, oh my god, I can't pay my bills. Let me try to talk to this man for a month so that he'll he'll... He'll give me this bread when I ask him. I do not want to talk to that man for a month. I'd rather just pay the bill. Honestly, truly, I really would just rather pay my own bills for that. Because it's just so draining, draining, draining. What's the gel? It's literally just curl gel that I just have sitting here that I just use. So it's really not anything. So you just want to be lonely your whole life. No kids, no family. I do want to have kids. I do want to have a family. When the time is right, I will have it. When I meet the man of my dreams, I will have it. When I meet a man that I want to settle down with, I will have it. When I meet a man that I'm in love with, I will have it. But I'm not. How is it my fault that I'm not in love? Maybe these motherfuckers just ain't lovable. Like, damn, what does that have to do with me? Why is there so much pressure on women? When men turn 30, you guys don't pressure the hell out of them for this shit. When men turn 30, it's, you're still young. Exactly, I am. I'm still young too. Like, can I just live? Can I just live, please? Can you just give me a fucking break? Like, if you, like, people will be so pressed on my relationship status. If you're so pressed, help me find somebody that I really like. Because I can't find them. Like, Jesus. Open up a dang dating service for me since you're so pressed. 1-800-GET-WINTER, a man that she actually likes and actually cares to talk to. Because trust me when I say, I be leaving these boys alone. Have I dated a white guy? No. I have not dated a white man. I just can't see it for me. Like, I genuinely cannot see it for me. <sighs> Somebody said, wedding dresses in your wedding day is a part of being womanly. 
wow that's really sad that that's what you think about when you think about being womanly i don't really honestly i don't think of that when i think of being womanly i really don't that's just not how i was raised like honestly i was raised to be a very independent very strong woman and that's just how i am that's how i want to raise my daughter if i ever have a daughter and yeah somebody said maybe your soulmate is a white girl a white guy girl well i mean honestly if my soulmate is a white guy i just sure mosey on down why not but white men don't even be trying to talk to me i feel like i intimidate white men Like, I already intimidate most men, but, like, I just feel like white men especially are, like, very, like, you're a lot, you know? Maybe your soulmate is Orion. Well, that's a fact. He is my soulmate. I love him. What are we doing tonight? I'm just about to go to my homegirl's house and I'm about to make tacos. Because I was just chilling in the house and I was like, why not? But I do want to start having kids though. That's the thing. I do want to have kids. Like, I'd be wanting a kid. Like, I really don't want to be pregnant though. That's another thing. I really don't. Like, I don't want to just, like... Like, my... Somebody that I used to date, like... Was speaking to me on the phone yesterday. And he was like... Like, do you want to have kids yet? Like, basically, he wants kids hella bad. And I was just like... <laughs> like, I would, like, get a surrogate right now. That's cool. I'll have a surrogate right now. That's what I would do right now. But then I look down on my stomach and I'm just like, I really don't want to do you dirty yet, you know? Like, you still all right. Am I going to be a gentle parent? I don't know. You really don't know what kind of parent you're going to be until you have a kid, I feel. I don't know how I'm going to be. I don't know what kind of dang parent I'm gonna be. I definitely don't want to hit my kids though. For sure, don't want to do that. Like I'm not. I don't want to whip my kids. I don't even feel like I could bring myself to whip my kid. Like for real. Like I don't like hurting children. Like even now, like when I'm around, like my bad. Even now, when I'm like around kids or like nieces, nephews, like stuff like that. Like if they're getting in trouble or something, like I notice that I like. I want to talk to them like you know and be like what's up with that like what do you have going on like that's not cool like let's chat about it I'm not about to just be like oh you need your butt whooped no I don't like that and like I have seen people that I know like whoop their child and it just makes me cringe like so bad like I do not like seeing that I remember I was talking to this guy and his like his son had like did something oh he like broke a bowl the bowl breaks on the floor cuts the baby's foot and i immediately swoop the baby up and he's like should i whip him for that and i was like whoop him for what for accidentally breaking a bowl and cutting himself that cringes me out that'll make me like not want to even talk to nobody because why are you so quick to like raise a hand to a kid like that's just weird to me but i also don't like i think like a lot of people like even especially like on the internet now like they be having like their kids on there have like a little attitude and stuff i don't think that's cute cut the tood let's cut the tood and the smart mouth like let's and then people be trying to like gentle parent that you can gentle parent while still being watch your fucking mouth and who are you talking to because we're not doing that communicate that you have me fucked up as a grown-ass woman you know but you ain't gotta hit him I 
long does it take this weave out? My hair looks like it's long enough right now to just be a little bob. So that I'm talking about when a kid is held, they need to be whipped. If a kid is held, then that's really on you as a parent. Why is your kid so bad? I mean, clearly, if your kid is that terrible, you're doing something wrong. Like, honestly, you are. There's no reason why your kid should be that bad. Like, if you talk to your kid, be like, I'm not playing that shit. You're on timeout, whatever the case. I just feel like they, I don't know. How do they get that way? That's what I want to know. How do they get to be so bad? Do I feel like I'm running out of time to have a kid? Not really. My mom be like on my head like, you need to freeze your eggs. That costs $15,000. And I'd rather just get knocked up the regular way or like get a surrogate. But you really have until like 35 to be concerned. So I have like six years. So I'm not really that concerned. I don't want to go and I really don't want to freeze my eggs. I just don't want to do the process. Like it's just a long ass process. I don't want to do it. surrogate qualifications i don't know be ready to hold my baby i don't know <sighs> why would you want to bring a kid into this economy knowing where it's going we act like we've never been in a recession before we gonna bounce back i mean hopefully i really don't know anything about that <laughs> What are your baby names? I have a baby name list that is like 40 names long and I will never tell because I don't want people stealing my names because now when I see kids with my baby names, now I get annoyed like they stole it, but they didn't see my baby name list. My baby name list is weird. Like y'all know I got some weird ass names on there. But people do be trying to, people do be trying to get me pregnant, y'all. Not gonna lie. Not saying like they're just, I'm just out here having SE eggs, cause I'm not. But people be trying to talk me into it. And I might just let somebody at this point. Are you mad your mom gave you a common basic name? Hmm. Well, my name isn't really common, nor is it. Well, I guess it's common, but it's not basic because my name, my my real name is spelled kind of weird. So I have like a weird spelling to my name. Which is just K-A-I-L-A instead of K-A-Y-L-A. So it's really not basic because people mispronounce my name all the time. But um, yeah, I don't really care because at the end of the day, I pretty much named myself Winter years ago. So it doesn't really matter. How many, how many kids do I want? I don't know. Maybe it's one. Like, I don't know. Maybe two at the same time. So I don't have to do it again. I don't know. <gasps> I have no idea. What's your nationality? I'm American. Qualifications for a baby daddy. Um, I would say smart, hopefully handsome. Just somebody cool that I feel like I could get along with if we ended up not being together. Um, somebody who's just like, you know, would be a good dad. Somebody who doesn't have a bad temper. Um, I would say somebody who is a provider and just very loving, I guess, in general. I don't know. Somebody who's good with kids. Like, I don't know. What's the story behind the name Winter? I write about it in my first book. See, I was right. You can purchase it on Amazon. What's accurate about your zodiac sign? A lot. I'm very much so a Taurus. Like, very much so a Taurus. 
I'm extremely loyal to a fault. That is like one of my biggest Taurus traits. Extremely loyal. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I am really good with kids. When is the tea getting spilled about the surgery? It wasn't a surgery. It was veneers. And it's already up. The video's already up. Ryan, add me. What the hell are you doing? I knew she was drunk. She said, laugh my son. Actually, I'm drunk. <laughs> I knew she was drunk. Y'all, Ryan gets drunk now. <laughs> Why do you get drunk now? She used to never. Why the fuck? You got me now. Hold on. Don't let me, get my, let me get my. You said what? What's wrong with your Wi Fi? Ryan? She's drunk. Hold on. Let me. How do I. Yo, I don't know how to take her off because her freaking Wi Fi is not working. Hold on. I'm trying to. Let me try to re add her. She got a request. Request, Ryan. But yeah, no, Ryan gets drunk now, and it's really funny because Ryan used to never drink. Ever. Like, when we lived together, never would drink. She used to smoke. And she used to be a smoker. And then when she was, like, heavily in a relationship, she would never drink, never smoke. She quit doing everything. She was just never trying to go out. Never nothing. Never could go nowhere. Now she's a party machine. And it's hilarious. I want to get drunk with her. Because we. I literally cannot tell you what time me and Ryan have gotten drunk together. Look, ain't you 30 years old? Y'all, I haven't even turned 30 yet. Why am I getting the 30 accusations already? Like, can we at least wait until I'm actually 30? Somebody said, has she always been a girl mad name Ryan? Her name is Adrian, and Ryan is a nickname for Adrian. And Ryan is a not that crazy as a name for a girl. It's a unisex name <laughs> she was the biggest stoner no because she for real she really was y'all i've like been addicted to skims <laughs> when's your birthday my birthday is next december Would I ever date a Taurus? I've never really dated a Taurus man, for real. But anyways, I'm going to take it off here, y'all, because I need to go get Margarita Mix and Tequila for Taco Tuesday, so.